So hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of PIB 24/7. मैं हूं मनीष मिश्रा and guys today's session is really very important because in today's session we are going to discuss the global hunger index that was recently launched. Okay, so do watch the complete session. But before we begin, do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and also you can join this Telegram group for daily quizzes and updated information about the sessions. Okay. So let's begin with the session, guys. And this is a brief information about me. You can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram ID is Mashi Manish, and I have done BSc Physics Honors from Delhi University, and also have cleared various government exams. Okay. And now let's start with the question number one. A program for providing patent registration information to students was launched by the Ministry of Education on the 89th birth anniversary of Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. So you have to identify the program, guys. This question is very important because आजकल intellectual property rights की बात काफी ज़्यादा चल रही है. Intellectual properties जो हमारे inventions होते हैं, हम उनको properly file नहीं कर पाते, उनकी properly patents file नहीं कर पाते. Okay, so to uh, you know improve that thing, this program has been launched. And guys, the name of the program is what Kapila Kalam Program. Okay, the name of the program is what Kapila Kalam Program. And this program was launched by Minister of Education. Ramesh Pokharyal Nishank on the 89th birth anniversary of Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam and this program guys basically under this program the students of higher educational institutions which higher education institution ke jo students hai, they will be provided information about how to file the patents of their inventions who can file their patents in what way they can file their patents what processes are they have to give their full awareness this program was launched okay so the basic objective of this program is to provide information to the students of higher educational institutions about how they can file patents of their inventions okay and other than this there are some other launches also on the occasion so on this occasion institution innovation council 2.0 annual report was presented okay and what is this institutional innovation council so it was established by ministry of education in the year 2018 ye 2018 mein establish hua tha institution innovation council and it was established to foster innovation among the uh, students in the higher educational institutions so higher education institutions mein students hai unke andar innovation ko foster karne ke liye this council was launched and till now 1700 institution innovation council have been established in the various higher education institutions and under this iic 3.0 iic 3.0 was also announced and under this iic 3.0 uh, around 5000 iic will be established in the higher educational institution to foster innovation okay and other than this it has been decided to celebrate the week of october 15th to 23rd so remember the date also 15 se leke 23 tak will be observed as the intellectual property literacy week all right so these are some other launches that were done on the 89th birth anniversary of dr kalam and now let's come back to the question so we have to identify the program guys so i hope you can easily identify the program so the correct answer is what option a kapila kalam program all right and now the question number two this is also guys very important question because it talks about the vision 2050 of eat right india movement of fss ai so it is important part from the social issues topic of rbi get the esi section so which approach was introduced during inter-ministerial meeting of fss ai with various ministries to achieve the vision 2050 of the Eat Right India movement. So basically, there was one inter-ministerial meeting of FSS, of FSS AI with the various central ministries, various departments of the central government and under uh, during that meeting, some approach was approved. Okay, some uh, uh, approach tha jisko approved kiya gaya and that approach is known as basically whole of government approach. Okay, so the correct answer is what? Let me tell you the answer first. Option B is whole of government approach okay so now let's discuss this so this meeting was held to build a whole of government approach to achieve vision 2050 of the eat right india movement and what is this eat right india movement so it is basically guys a uh, movement of fss ai food safety and standard authority of india and this movement is basically we have to uh, you know transform the india's food system by uh, ensuring safe healthy and sustainable food for all Okay, remember the words safe, healthy and sustainable food for all. Okay, by the year 2050, we have to achieve this. So that's why the name vision 2050 of the Eat Right India movement. Let me tell you this once again. Eat Right India movement is a movement of FSSAI whereby uh, we, we will try to ensure the safe to provide safe, healthy and sustainable food for all by the year 2050. Okay, and 
to achieve this vision 2015 now whole of whole of government approach will be followed all right and these are some facts guys that were presented during the meeting and what is this whole of government approach i'll tell you later so these are some facts that were presented by dr harshvardhan because this meeting was chaired by dr harshvardhan the uh, minister of health and family welfare so the economic cost of food borne diseases in india is estimated to around 15 billion dollars 15 billion dollars ka hamara economic cost hai of the food borne diseases this is a whooping amount guys and wasting is 21% among our children underweight it is 36% stunting it is 38% and 50% of women and children are suffering from i mean uh, anemia in our country prevalence of obesity has doubled in the decade starting from 2015 to 2000, uh, 2005 to 2015 From 9.3% to 18.6%, obesity जो है वो double हो गया है, and 50% of India's population does not meet the recommended dietary allowance for critical micronutrients. Basically, अगर आपको ये शब्द भारी-भारी समझ में नहीं आते हैं, तो इसका मतलब ये है कि जो हमारे देश की जो basic, जो हमारे body के लिए जो basic nutrients की requirement है, that is not fulfilled for 50% of the Indian India's population. Okay, and now let's talk about this whole of government approach. Basically, this approach is what? इसमें क्या होगा जो जितने भी हमारे मोस्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट मिनिस्ट्रीज हैं सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के मिनिस्ट्रीज हैं एंड द डिपार्टमेंट्स दे विल वर्क टुगेदर टू अचीव द विजन 2050 ऑफ द इट राइट इंडिया मूवमेंट ओके सारे लोग मिलके काम करेंगे दैट इज नोन एज होल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट अप्रोच सारी मिनिस्ट्री सेंट्रल मिनिस्ट्रीज कुछ सेंट्रल डिपार्टमेंट्स विल वर्क टूगेदर टू अचीव द विजन टू ओके लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी एस आई आर आई सी ए आर आई सी एम आर आयुष बी आई एस दे विल Uh, work for the food standards all right and for the environments or places ministry of uh, women and child development will work so is tarike se alag alag spheres mein har ministry kaam karegi jo bhi unka concerned department hai usko wo role play mein leke aayenge taki jo hamara vision 2050 hai usko achieve kiya ja sake taki hum apne citizens ko safe healthy aur sustainable food provide kara sake by the year 2050 okay and that's it for this news and now therefore the correct answer guys is what option b whole of government approach so this new approach will be followed uh, for achieving the vision 2050 okay and now question number 3 this is again a very important question this is about an app that has been launched by leather sector skill council so which app was launched by leather sector skill council to enhance quality assurance in leather sector under the skill india mission ओके सो ये एक ऐप है जो कि लॉन्च की गई है ताकि जो क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस है इन द लेदर लेदर इंडस्ट्री उसको एनहेंस किया जा सके एंड दिस गाइस लेदर सेक्टर स्किल काउंसिल इट इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एस्टेब्लिश इन 2012 एंड इट वाज अप्रूव्ड बाय नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन एनएसडीसी ने इसको अप्रूव किया था एंड इट्स बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू फॉस्टर द डिमांड इज टू यू नो कंप्लीट द डिमांड ऑफ द स्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स जो हमारे स्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स हैं इन द लेदर इंडस्ट्री उनकी डिमांड्स को फुलफिल करना इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज द ड्यूटी इज द यू नो मैंडेट ऑफ दिस लेदर सेक्टर स्किल काउंसिल एंड इट वाज एस्टेब्लिश इन 2012 एज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड अप्रूव बाय नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट काउंसिल सो गाइज द नेम ऑफ द एप इज वॉट स्केल इंडिया एंड्रॉइड एप स्केल इंडिया एंड्रॉइड एप इज द नेम ऑफ दैप दैट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय दिस काउंसिल एंड दिस हैज बिन डन टू इनहॉन्स quality assurance under the skill india mission in the leather industry okay and these are some basic features so this app guys will work on any smart device sare sare smart devices pe work karega whether it is laptop uh, you know desktop smartphone tablets kisi pe bhi work karega and it will provide end to end quality assurance across training assessment and certification services and if we talk about the benefits so what benefits it will provide ye kyun launch kiya gaya iska kuch basic objective hoga kuch need hoga so it will help candidates in the skilling ecosystem to get assessed and certified on their knowledge and skills jo students hain jo ki leather industry mein kaam karna chahte hain aage chal ke ya apni skill development karna chahte hain to unke knowledge aur unke skill ko assess karne ke liye unko certified karne ke liye this app will help it will enable access to micro learning modules for bridging the skill gaps jo leather industry mein <coughs> skill required hai उसमें अगर कोई माइक्रो uh, लेवल के कुछ गैप्स बचे हैं तो टू फुलफिल दोज गैप दिस एप विल बेनिफिट विल हेल्प इट विल असेस द कैंडिडेट टू बिकम अ प्रोडक्टिव रिसोर्स हु इज रेडली एम्प्लॉयबल इन द इंडस्ट्री अगर कोई ऑलरेडी लेदर इंडस्ट्री में वर्क कर रहा है तो दैट पर्सन कैन एनहेंस हिज और हर स्किल्स विद द यूज ऑफ दिस एप द कैंडिडेट कैन सर्च फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड कनेक्ट विद द एम्प्लॉयज एंड ऑल्सो द एम्प्लॉयज कैन ऑल्सो कनेक्ट विद द एम्प्लॉयज जो जिनकी उनको जरूरत है ओके okay? 
it will serve as a job portal with access to a certified talent pool of candidates to hire from this will uh, this will benefit the employers in the leather industry and also employers will be able to share their skill gap requirements jo bhi employers ko skill ki requirement hogi they can display, uh, display their requirements in the app and uh, thereby they will get the required employee jis tarike ka unko chahiye for their required skill okay so this these are some benefits of this app guys and now let's come to the question so i hope this uh, the basic objective of this app is clear to so why this app has been launched so this app is known as scale india android app so option c scale india will be the correct answer here and now let's move on to the question number 4 which is about the y20 global summit so recently y20 global summit was hosted virtually in which kiran rijiju our uh, sports and youth affairs minister his lok sabha constituency is arunachal west remember this uh, presented india so he presented india in this y20 global summit so the question is where were the summit held so guys this summit basically is not that important we don't have to study in detail about this summit if question comes then the question will be this only ki ye jo summit thi ye kahan pe hui thi okay so the remember this summit was held at in saudi arabia ye kahan pe hui thi saudi arabia mein hui thi and it was attended by kiran rijiju from the india's behalf एंड ये जो समिट है बेसिकली ये इसका जो बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव है ये क्यों हुआ था यू नो टू 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 अचीव कोलैबोरेशन टू कोलैबोरेट विद द कोलैबोरेट विद द यूथ पीपल ओके जो यूथ लोग हैं उनके साथ कोलैबोरेशन के लिए और उनके जो भी इश्यूज हैं उसको सुनने के लिए दिस ग्लोबल समिट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज ओके सो टू कोलैबोरेट विद द यूथ पीपल एंड टू लिसन देयर इशूज and which are the issues in the G20 agenda जो भी G20 agenda एजेंडा के इशूज है ठीक है और उसमें से जो यूथ के इशूज है उसको सुनने के लिए उसके ऊपर काम करने के लिए दिस ग्लोबल समिट वॉज हेल्ड ओके एंड बाई ट्वेंटी गाइज बेसिकली इट इज अ यूथ विंग ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी जो जी ट्वेंटी कंट्रीज है उनके लिए यूथ विंग है जिसको हम क्या बोलते हैं बाई ट्वेंटी ओके ये कोई अलग से नया ग्रुप नहीं है जो जी ट्वेंटी के यूथ का जो विंग है दैट इज नोन एज वाई ट्वेंटी ओके एंड दीज आर समोकस्ड एरियाज ऑफ द समिट दैट you have to uh, remember so future skills future of work entrepreneurship leadership development and sustainable development okay so these are the focused areas and usme aapko keval ek hi cheez yaad rakhni hai that this summit was held uh, you know in saudi arabia and y20 is a youth wing of g20 countries okay so therefore the correct answer is what option e saudi arabia and if you talk about the hamari uh, youth ki baat chal rahi hai so remember जो हमारा यूथ ओलंपिक था यूथ विंटर ओलंपिक्स 2020 वो कहां पे हुआ था कैन यू टेल मी यूथ विंटर ओलंपिक्स 2020 वाज हेल्ड एट लोजैन इन स्विट्जरलैंड एंड जो 2022 का है वो होने वाला था सेनेगल में बट नाउ इट हैज बीन पोस्टोन टू टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स बिकॉज ऑफ कोरोना वायरस पेंडेमिक ओके एंड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स विच इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ओके सो ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स गाइज इट वॉज पब्लिश बाय concern worldwide which is an irish organization and world hunger help which is a german organization so you have to remember the name of organizations also it can be asked in your exam okay is global hunger index mein jo bhi hum aaj padhenge wo sab kuch aapko yaad rakhna hai koi bhi aisi cheez nahi hai jo unimportant ho okay and this index what it does it measures and track hunger at the global regional and the national level and it was first time launched in the year 2006 it was its first edition was in the 2006 and this time this year it was the 15th edition okay so remember the edition also and there are four indicators in this global hunger index number one is undernourishment so as the name suggests undernourishment ka matlab hum sabko samajh mein aa raha hoga i hope then we have child wasting and what is this child wasting so child under 5 age who have low weight for their height jinka height ke hisab se unka jo weight hai wo kam hai this is known as child wasting then we have child stunting ऐसे चिल्ड्रन जिनकी एज पांच साल से कम है एंड हु हैव देयर हाइट लो हाइट ऑफ देयर एज ओके चिल्ड्रन अंडर फाइव हु हैव लो हाइट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू देयर एज उनके एज के हिसाब से जो उनकी हाइट है वो कम है ओके एंड देन वी हैव चाइल्ड मोर्टेलिटी सो इन दिस इंडेक्स द मोर्टेलिटी रेट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन अंडर द एज ऑफ फाइव इयर्स वॉज टेकन एज एन इंडिकेटर ओके सो दीज आर द फोर इंडिकेटर सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ इंडिकेटर ऑल्सो अंडर नरिशमेंट चाइल्ड वेस्टिंग चाइल्ड स्टंटिंग एंड चाइल्ड मोर्टेलिटी राइट एंड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द स्कोरिंग सो दो ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स है इसमें जो स्कोरिंग होती है दैट इज ऑन अ स्कोर ऑफ स्केल ऑफ हंड्रेड ओके 
so the jhi measure score on a scale of 100 where 0 is the best score while 100 is the worst okay remember this 0 is the best score here because agar kisi country ka jhi score 0 hai to wo wahan pe jo hunger ka level hai wo bahut kam hai matlab 0 hai and 100 is the worst and this is the jhi severity scale so if the jhi score is 9.9 equal uh, less than equal to 9.9 then the hunger severity is low if it is between 10 to 19.9 then it is moderate if it is 20 to 234.9 then it is serious if it is 35 to 49.9 then it is alarming and if it is more than 50 then it is extremely alarming and there is no country in this okay is category mein koi bhi country nahi hai in total 107 countries ka ye index hai by aur jo extremely alarm, extremely alarming ki jo category hai there was no country in that okay remember this and what is the global scenario of hunger guys so uh, reports hai, wo achhi nahi hai, itni khush karne wale nahi hai. so let's discuss so worldwide hunger is represented by a score of 18.2 yani ki moderate level ka hunger hai hamare pure duniya mein abhi bhi 18.2 ka score hai moderate level ka hunger hai aur ye score halaki improve hua hai from the year 2000 2000 mein kitna tha it was 28.2 but now it has been decreased to 18.2 that is moderate and jo africa south hai of the sahara african south of the sahara and south asia has the largest uh, number of hunger people across the world three countries have the alarming levels of hunger remember the name of these three countries also chad timor leste and madagascar okay so these are the three countries chad timor leste and madagascar are the three countries where the hunger is at the alarming level okay and at the current pace around 37 countries would fail to achieve the basic uh, you know basic target of sustainable development goal 3 by the year 2030 those are these sdg target hai, uh, we have to achieve zero hunger by the year 2030 so around 37 countries have fail ho jayenge. and as per the report 690 million people are undernourished 144 million children are suffering from the stunting and 47 million children are those which are suffering from the child uh, wasting okay so these are some basic uh, you know uh, facts from the report globally and if we talk about india's position so remember the india's position and guys let me tell you one more thing to so total 107 countries the and 1 to 17 countries jo rank 1 se leke 17 hai un sabhi countries ka score jo tha wo less than 5 tha so they were all put under the ranking 1 to 17 okay 1 se leke 17 tak koi individual ranking nahi hai all 17 countries are put at one place that is 1 to 17 and all of them have the score less than 5 okay so remember this aapko confusion nahi honi chahiye isme koi top country nahi hai 1 to 17 17 countries hai jisko jinka score 5 se kam tha jinko 1 se 17 ke ranking mein rakha gaya okay and india ki baat kar lo to remember india's rank india's uh, rank is 94 out of 107 countries and last year it was 102 out of 117 countries last year kitna tha 102 tha 117 countries mein se but now it is 107 mein se 94 and the score of india is what 27.2 matlab ki india mein jo hunger ka level hai that is at the serious level okay and the very disappointing thing for india is that india is ranked below then most of its neighboring countries we are below pakistan we are below nepal bangladesh sri lanka and myanmar okay so this is very serious situation for all of us and performance agar in alag alag indicators ki baat kar le so undernourishment mein india mein 40 percent of the india's population is still undernourished child wasting it is 17.3 child stunting 34.7 and child mortality it is 3.7 child mortality mein india is performing well india ne improvement ki hai lekin baaki kisi mein bahut achhi improvement nahi ki hai okay but still in india the hunger level is at the serious level all right so this is not a good news for all of us and now let's come to the question i i hope aapko ye global hunger index clear hai and there are no doubts still agar aapko koi doubt hai if you want to ask any question you can ask me in the comment section okay so now let's do this question number 5 this is very important question Global Hunger Index 2020 was recently launched by Concern Worldwide and World Hunger Hill to measure and track the global hunger. Which of the following statements is are incorrect regarding the index? So, in this case, incorrect. Hai? So, on the GHI severity scale, a score between 35.0 and 49.9 represents the serious hunger situation. No, it is not serious. Between 35 and 49.9, it is alarming. Okay, it is alarming. So, this statement is incorrect and more than 50, it is extremely alarming. 20 countries have scored less than 5. No, there are 17 countries which uh, 1 to 17 ki ranking mein rakha gaya hai. So, they scored less than 5. So, this statement again is incorrect. And worldwide hunger is represented by a score of 
No, it is not 20.2, it is 18.2. Okay, so this statement again is incorrect. So all of the statement guys here are incorrect, which means option E, all are incorrect will be the correct answer. Okay. And guys, that's it for the session. But guys, before ending the session, I have an appeal to make. देखो गाइज जो हमारे देश में हंगर की प्रॉब्लम है उसको हमें खुद सॉल्व करना पड़ेगा ठीक है वी कांट रिलाई ऑन द गवर्नमेंट टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ हंगर अगर आपके घर के आसपास कोई ऐसा पर्सन है जिसको जरूरत है जिसकी भूख नहीं मिट पा रही है उसके पास रिसोर्सेज नहीं है टू फीड हिस्स और हर स्टमक देन प्लीज गो एंड फीड हिम और हर बिकॉज इन माई ओपिनियन अगर मुझे भूख लगी है और मेरे पास रिसोर्स नहीं है कि मैं अपने स्टमक को फीड कर सकूं देन इससे बुरी सिचुएशन इससे पिटीफुल सिचुएशन हो ही नहीं सकती सो so, हम सबको एक साथ मिलकर काम करना पड़ेगा आई नो अगर आपकी पॉकेट अलाउ करती है तभी आप ये कर पाएंगे सो दिस इज एन अपील अगर आपके आसपास कोई आपको ऐसा दिखाई देता है जिसके पास रिसोर्सेज नहीं है टू फीड हिज और हर स्टमक देन प्लीज गो एंड फीड हिम और हर ओके सो दैट्स इट फॉर द सेशन आई होप आपको ये सेशन अच्छा लगा कमेंट करके जरूर बताएं अगर कोई डाउट्स हो तो प्लीज यू कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन मिलते हैं कल के सेशन में गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस